Hello, my beautiful gems. How are you today? Welcome to your reading. Let's take a look and see what the channeled messages are for you. Uh, the channeled messages that are coming through are all about you wanting to find your equilibrium, your happiness. You want to be joyful. You want to have more work-life balance. And you want to manifest something that you have really had trouble bringing to fruition. You've made good progress but you're really not where you need and want to be. So this week is a week of strategizing. So let's jump into your reading and see what we have here for you for the actual, um, you know, the week ahead, the two weeks ahead. So the energy that we have is you're coming in with this beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy. This Queen of Pentacles is nurturing, she's kind, she's loving, Capricorn is hard working. You really can make a lot of money. You feel abundant in your power to create money. So that feels very rock solid for you. What you don't know is what path you want to take to make money or what path you want to take in your life right now. You definitely are at a crossroads and you have two very good friends who are helping you, the three amigos here. You might know each other as a group, but you also might have a relationship with each one of them independently. They know the inner core of who you are and what you want to do. They're both very supportive for you, but this is about collaborating in life. You want your relationships to all feel very collaborative where both of you decide what you're doing, where you're going. You know, both of you go to the Home Depot and pick up paint chips and make decisions together. And that is the theme because Libra is now visiting, or excuse me, Venus is now visiting Libra. That's your fifth house of love, of romance, of, of sex, of fun, of also your creative ambitions. And it's where romance starts. And when it gets to your seventh house of marriage, it's usually when you marry the partner that you found with Venus in Libra. So it's a very powerful time for you right now. We see you having a lot of different ideas about what you want. You haven't made a final decision, but we really see you moving forward with this beautiful chariot energy into the future. Like, pachum, you are cracking the whip on your own ability to manifest and decide what you want. You clearly have your focus and that focus is about balance. You are in this energy of really enjoying life and love. And you are ready for the new adventure. You're like a teenager. You want to start all over again. We have the full energy. It's all about throwing caution to the winds. It's all about listening to your dreams and your inner core so that you can find happiness. What I really get here for you is a very strong energy that really is all about the fact that you, the fact that you have not followed your own wishes. What you do have here in your energy field is this card that says that people have a tendency to steal your time. I wouldn't say your resources. You're too savvy to let anybody into your bank account. But this really says that you feel as though you've had people around you who are willing to steal from you. And not from a physical standpoint, but to take more than they're willing to give, to expect you to just provide for them this sort of unconditional love and nurturing that they see you have. They see you as abundant. Well, you, you're successful, so you know you can share with me and I'll just come in, check out the refrigerator, and I'll take what I want while you're not looking or while you're gone from the house. And it is a feeling and it is a thing that has happened to Gemini's for a long time. A lot of people think that Gemini is not giving and yet we are one of the most giving signs because love, relationships, providing for people is in our second house on the astrology chart of everything we value. So Gemini's tend to be very, very self-sacrificing and very forgiving and very kind 
but you know the dual nature is once you step into the the more serious part of Gemini where they don't feel balanced where the twins are not having some sort of synchronistic conversation what we have is Gemini giving too much six of Pentacles give 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 and what we're seeing here is Gemini this week you're cutting it out you are getting rid of this energy you are recognizing that what you thought was a, an equal give and take is actually a very unbalanced situation and you are going to re remedy it very quickly and with a lot of bluntness a lot of forward activity people are not going to be happy with you if you do this and you know it and yet you know how much you've given so it is a very uh, happy time for you you feel very fulfilled in your life you simply would like to have more of the joy that you deserve in life and that is where you're headed i really highly recommend this week's astrological forecast reading for you gemini it i will link it to um the end of the video but it's a fabulous revelation about how this will take place for you sending you love gemini bye bye take care